very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking it was really crazy week in forex market there was a lot of news that has affected the currency market such as the potential deal between USA and China and their new uh, tariffs fees uh, the Brexit news the possible impeachment and removal of Mr. Trump as, as the president uh, that the news also has, has affected the dollar and therefore it affected the gold and the oil as well so it was really crazy week however uh, the signals did uh, okay we actually had losses in the first four days of the week uh, but thankfully Angela was able to recover some losses on Friday with uh, six wins against one loss uh, this is the premium group and I wanted to show you how the signals are being sent we can notice here that Angela sent uh, this announcement to close the signal to buy the euro and city with 35 pips loss and here also we can see close the pound GPY buy, uh, buy signal with 20 pips loss so we are doing our best to save the day even though if we had bad week bad days uh, we are doing our best to close the day uh, if it's a bad day we are doing our best to close it with the uh, must uh, reduce its losses as much as possible now other groups they don't really do that most of them as I'm aware of we are one of the very very few if not we are the best thankfully who are doing this and being very honest with the members and with the not members yes this week was not so good for the signals however it was only four days among months of successful and green days um, the market was crazy this week as I said it's, it's really not our fault what happened you cannot always predict how the market will go every single day that's really not easy job even for us nobody can do that and I think we are doing very much better than so many other uh, signals providers so however uh, it was really not bad what happened because as I said it was not really our fault what happened and we are doing again our best to deliver the best signals to the members so again uh, if you wish my friends to join the premium group please don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description under this video contact her today and hopefully this week or sorry next week will be very good and we will gain a lot of profits so let's start now with the weekly analysis and as usual let's start with the euro USD now the euro USD did not really move as I expected however I think it was because of the news about the potential deal between China and the USA and their tariffs fees I think still the euro USD still need to make some bullish momentum uh, let me switch now to the weekly chart so I can show you this uh, I will drag this line all the way to this resistance and by the way I'm looking right here so what I'm expecting is for the euro USD to actually make one more rise to retest this uh, level of the resistance before it actually continue falling more down now the reason for that beliefs is this is a very strong resistance and we can see the pair is ranging on this resistance for over three years and after the final we can see here the bullish breakout candle breaking out from this resistance we can see so many attempts actually remember we are on the weekly candles so each candle representing one week this is this is too much uh, resistance uh, sorry too much uh, strength on the support level to see here then we can finally see the fake breakout uh, bearish candle and again the level kept its position as a resistance right here and we can see here that this movement on the resistance level is very strong I don't think this movement is gonna be that simple uh, most likely the euro USD will actually go ahead to make one fi final re uh, retest on this level before it actually continue falling more down that, uh, that being said moving now to the daily candles so right now we are on the daily candles what I can see here if I draw the trend lines let me just do it so I will just drag this one here like that so I can expect for the euro USD actually on Monday opening to fall a little bit more down for like almost uh, 20 pips um, let me just draw this uh, support level right here exactly like that yes that's the right way so we can expect uh, on daily candles to see the euro USD falling down until it hit this previous support level I think it has to reverse right on this support to make one full pull, one pullback all the way until it hit this resistance level 
so we can expect for the euro USD to actually go a little bit more up and hit this resistance level during the next week um, we can expect for it actually to fall uh, to go a little bit more up but we need to wait the price action to decide that if we see here a, a bullish breakout candle then we can expect for the pair to actually continue rising more and more up however we don't see that yet so until then we need to send the signal for the euro usd and in my opinion it is the best level to start buying the euro usd on 1.09976 and keep the position all the way until it hit this previous resistance on this level so let me just uh, write them for you so buy euro, euro usd on 1.09976 and we can keep the position opened until this level here of the previous resistance remember this is daily candles we're talking about so we are discussing almost 70 pips of profit hopefully we will get them all uh, you can expect for the pair to actually fall a little bit more down until this level of the support yeah it's a possibility that the pair might actually fall like fall for approximately 30 pips we are not yet sure until we see price action as i said uh, until it uh, bounce on the support level because here we are having a support number one so we can expect for the pair to reverse on support number two however i really don't think this is going to happen it doesn't have the potential to keep going down this is how i think the euro usd is going to move on the next month is <coughs> let's move now to the pound usd so the pound USD actually has moved as I expected after making the double bottom, the double top here. As I mentioned, the pound USD should be good to start selling right on this level immediately because it's on the resistance level here. That, so that is a resistance number one. Uh, last week we were actually on the resistance number two. So selling the pound USD was really good. I think it gave um, almost 160 pips of profit. So what is now the next move? let me check it out now as I said the euro USD, the pound USD is on a very strong support level and we can see that by looking at the support which has been uh, created early on this year uh, 31st January 2019 so it's a very strong support level we can expect for the pair now to start rising a little bit more up bouncing until it hit this previous resistance here and then it's gonna continue is fair bearish momentum so let me just uh, make it clear the pound USD is actually not bad to start buying immediately and yes perfect 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 we can keep buying the pound USD until it hit this previous resistance which was also exactly a strong support in the past however we can see that here we have a resistance attempt remember we are on daily candles my friends let's go to the four hour chart so you can see it more clear exactly this is the level I'm telling you about and we can see already that we had here a resistance number we can see that we have already a resistance number one and we can see the candle is not able to close below this level and therefore it seems like it's bouncing on the support number one and therefore we can expect for the candle to rise a little bit more up hitting this resistance number two so it's gonna be a good idea to start buying the pound USD immediately and keep the position for almost 95 pips and then we can start selling on 1.28781 so actually it's gonna be two signals for the euro, for the pound USD the first one is buy now on the current level which is 1.27701 and then we can have another one for a sell on 1.28718 so that is how I'm expecting for the pound USD to actually move for the next few days I think this is a good signal and we have to be always careful when we are trading the pound because it's ranging a lot as we can see remember my friends each candle is actually huge it's not simple as you think this candle alone is actually 100 and 24 pips and this is the four hour chart this pin bar look at this pin bar how how many pips is that this pin bar alone is 232 pips so please be careful extra careful when you are trading the pound pairs on all uh, on all the charts
let's go now to the AUD USD. AUD USD uh, it is moving down as I expected, but uh, it's ranging a lot actually. Uh, sadly, it's just closed on this support level, so it's not really giving us a clear picture on what it what is the expected movement. However, it seems like the the AUD USD is actually bouncing on the support level and seems like it's gonna make one final attempt on this resistance before it continue falling down so this is daily candles let me go to the four hour charts and yes we can see the friday sorry uh, the last candle friday night closed as a bullish candle and this is a good price action to start buying the pair because we actually can see here a support level and also here a support level so this is a support number one and right here we are now on the support number two uh, let me just analyze it on the daily candles so we can expect for the pair to start rising until it hit let me just be accurate as much as possible my friends yes all right go to the four hour chart yes exactly so we can expect for the AUD USD to rise a little bit more up to hit this uh, previous resistance which was also a previous support and here actually it is a key resistance level so this resistance is gonna keep its level as a resistance and then the pair will continue falling down I'm expecting actually for the AUD USD to continue falling down all the way until it hit this previous support level however it doesn't seem with such a ranging market that this, this is gonna happen soon so we need to wait more time for the AUD USD for this fall so we can expect for the AUD USD to rise um, for almost 25 pips before we can start selling the pair so the signal for the AUD USD is going to be sell on 0 0.68832 yeah that is my expectation for the AUD USD and hopefully it's going to be accurate because in general we can see right now we are having a double top uh, level on the AUD USD and therefore we can expect for it to continue the fall down actually all the way to this support level right here but that's gonna take some uh, some more time actually let me just uh, make this one more clear for you like that so let's check now the USD CAD USD CAD has actually moved as I expected I think so this is not the one here yeah this is different one I think because I didn't say to sell the USD CAD right here yeah you can see it's uh, so much messy here I don't know what happened to MetaTrader mixing all the signals together let me just delete it and get rid of everything if I'm not mistaken I send the signal to start selling USD CAD right on the support level hold on yeah it was right here like that yes exactly that's how I sent the signal to send to sell to start buying the USD CAD if I if I remember clearly I mentioned that we have in here support level and we need to wait for the USD CAD to reverse right on this level and we can see this is the one on Monday uh, opening it was really good signal uh, sorry this one was Monday and this was uh, Tuesday yeah so it was really good signal and the pair reversed exactly as I expected and it continue rising more up here let me see how many pips was that 110 pips good for those who have entered it however what is now the next movement for the USD CAD now we can see on the left that we are having here a very strong resistance level which was also a good resistance here and here and here and right now we are on it so in general the USD CAD is actually going up but we need to just buy the pair on the right level now what I'm expecting on daily candles that the USD CAD will actually make a final reverse to hit this previous let me just zoom in more so we can see it like that all right so I'm expecting for the USD CAD because we have in here a resistance number one and we can expect for the CAD to reverse on the resistance number two and it's gonna continue falling more down you know something let me adjust the, the signal give me give me a second guys because I think it's gonna reverse even before that all right that's even better I think that's even better yeah yeah definitely so we can expect for the USD CAD to actually fall a little bit more down it will retest this broken resistance after this bullish breakout candle before it actually continue rising more up actually I'm expecting for it to rise all the way 
until it hit this previous resistance right here so we are talking about 237 pips of profit however uh, let me just send the signal to buy the USD CAD on 1.31906 however let me explain something also this is my expectation for the USD CAD that it might actually retest this broken resistance and reverse right on the support but keep in mind it is possible there is a possibility that it might actually continue falling more down just a little bit to retest this support support right here and then it will continue going more up so you can start buying the USD CAD when it's in the range between this support and the resistance it's just like 18 to 20 pips only that's nothing so it's a good idea to start buying the USD CAD right on this level on 1.31906 expecting it to fall to, le to level 1.312 uh, sorry 1.31724 before it actually start to rise more up let's check now the USD GPY so the USD GPY uh, I think is easy signal because right now it's on the very top of this previous resistance right here uh, sadly it didn't move as I expected but anyway in general it's going down because we can see that we had here a clear resistance number one and right now the market is reversing on resistance number two and this small uh, candle uh, at, at the closing on Friday it's indicating a really good signal to start selling the pair so I think the USD GPY all in all is actually falling down immediately so it's going to be a good idea to start selling the USD GPY immediately and keep your position until until this level so that's how I'm expecting for the USD GPY to actually start move it will go down to hit this previous support level and then it's going to continue going more up uh, not for so long I think it's going to reverse on this resistance level and then it's going to reverse again hit this previous resistance right here and then we need to see the price action of course so however that is long term analysis uh, let me see how many pips is that 71 pips good so let me now give two signals for the USD GPY the first one is actually still uh, now on the level 109.246 it is good to start selling right now actually this is daily candle check for our chart perfect perfect actually it's more than perfect because uh, we can see the USD GPY is right now on a very re strong resistance level on the four hours chart meaning the pair is actually uh, expected to reverse immediately and I think by Monday or Tuesday maximum we can expect for the pair to actually reach the support level I'm talking about and then it's gonna continue going more up so again yeah that's good signal I think go back to the daily candles uh, sell for the USD GPY on this level and again we can prepare for buy for the USD GPY on 108.510 so I hope it will work and everyone will make good profit out of this out of these two signals let's go now to the USD CHF so the USD CHF is ranging again and right now it's on um, how many attempts is that on the resistance let me check one two three four five six and now it's on the seventh attempt of this resistance however I really don't think it's gonna break out from this resistance again the rising for the USD was temporary because of the news about the potential deal with China so that is the only reason in my opinion the USD was rising up however I think it's gonna again fall down let's check the weekly candles check the monthly on even on monthly it seems <laughs> strange a lot my friends go to the weekly honestly speaking I really really hate giving analysis on such market because it's just confusing a, lo a lot uh, there is so many attempts on everywhere we can see here however all in all I believe that the USD GPU the USD CHF is actually gonna reverse right on this resistance level because we can see here uh, strength on the level and also here so the current level which the USD CHF is on is pretty strong let me explain something if I saw the USD CHF near to this area I would expect for it to actually break out and continue its uh, bullish momentum however I think it is now on a very strong resistance level and the candle 
this candle here this candle is actually my favorite price action for a bearish reversal because when you see a candle like that with a small wick at the top and long wick uh, long wick at the, sh at the bottom or long tail we can expect for the market to actually start falling down that is exactly the candle I'm talking about and therefore we can expect for it to reverse immediately because we are on the very top level of this previous resistance right here so therefore USDCHF is actually good to start sell immediately so we can sell the USDCHF on 0 0.99759 and we can set our take profit level to be on this previous support right here and that could be 120 pips but to be honest I'm expecting for it to even to fall even more I'm expecting for the USDCHF to actually reach this previous support level however that, that might take some time so we have to wait uh, until at least two weeks for this to happen and hopefully this signal will be profitable so let's check finally now the gold the gold thankfully has also moved per as, my, as per my expectation it reversed right on, right on this resistance on the level 1516 and continued it fall down all the way to the support level now that my expectation for the for the gold it's gonna continue falling down but it's gonna make one final attempt for the broken support before it actually continue falling more down so we can see that here we had a support number one and here we also had a support number two and right now it is on the support number three however we are talking about gold on daily candles so we can expect for the pair or we cannot treat it like any other pairs this is not currency we're talking about this is gold so there is a good chance for the gold to actually make one final attempt of this broken support level and then it's going to continue falling down to hit this previous support level right here so let's move now to the four hour chart all right on the four hour chart we can see it more clear now that we already ha here had the resistance number one so the retest has uh, worked actually and the market reversed but still we can expect because we are on the strong level of the support level here we can expect for the pair to actually reverse to create a final resist number two, resistance number two before it actually continue falling more down so my expectation is the gold should be good to start sell on the level 1473 that should be good to start sell the gold and hopefully the market uh, will follow this signal and we can expect for it to keep falling all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so we can look for almost 300 pips of profit and you know on gold that is uh, normal however I really hope uh, this will be a very profitable week for everyone and I wish you guys the best of luck in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.